It's been a stormy 24 hours on Vancouver Island. High winds kept float planes on the water, ferries tied to the dock, and trees down on homes and hydro wires. Gusts reaching more than 100 kilometers an hour took out power lines, leaving thousands of people in the dark. And for one man in Colwood, the storm hit especially close to home. CTV's Aaron Glazier reports. Tall trees on Bill Coon's property sway violently in the wind. The ones that are left, anyway. It was just a huge crack and then a thump on the house and immediately knew what had happened. Early this morning, two large firs came crashing through the roof of his kitchen. Bill says he and his wife are fortunate. No one was hurt. It's damage to the house. Um, insurance covers it entirely. Bartlett Tree Service is called in to clean up. Arborists know the stormy situation this time of year all too well. Yeah, we've sort of a phone's been going off the hook today. When winds pick up speed, vulnerable trees with weak root systems are the first to come crashing down. Arborists say the best way to prevent damage is to have the trees taken down before winter storms hit. But preventative maintenance is always the best step. But even stronger trees can fall victim to the storm, especially when they're left open to the elements. Then you get little patches like what we see here left behind and uh, you know, you've opened up huge wind channels. With two trees down, arborists work to save a third, leaning precariously in the wind. Across the city, the Victoria Fire Department is doing the same after a falling tree pinches a power line. We're assuming that it's live and we're just monitoring the incident to protect the homeowner's property. BC Hydro says the storm caused more than a dozen outages affecting more than 7,000 customers on the South Island. All of the power should be restored by 7 tonight. But Hydro says compared to previous years, the storm damage has been minimal so far in 2013. Whether that's um, been as a result of the vegetation work we do or the hardening of the, uh, the system to make sure you know we can restore power pretty quickly, it hasn't been uh, as bad as one might expect for the West Coast. On the water, BC ferries were back up and running at full capacity today after high winds cancelled a number of sailings last night. Harbour Air wasn't as lucky. All morning flights to and from Vancouver were scrapped. Trips started up again by mid-afternoon. The fastest gusts in the region were clocked at 121 kilometers an hour at Estevan Point. Here at Gonzales Beach, 94 kilometers an hour. But as the system moves eastward and inward, they are expected to diminish by this evening. A little too late for Bill, who says he'll be sleeping with one eye open tonight. Once in a lifetime is enough. The roof should be repaired within a few days. Until then, the wind will be whistling through. Aaron Glazier, CTV News, Colwood.